Hello, I'm Dr. Alginet, and this is the first in a series of short videos on Alginet and life casting. I'm calling the series Alginet for Everybody. My real name is Chris Baker, and although I'm not a real doctor, I do know an awful lot about Alginet because I've been making it for over 20 years. There are a lot of topics to cover here, but I thought we'd start with what the heck is Alginet anyway? If you've ever been to the dentist and had a mold made of your teeth, you'll probably remember it because it's not the most pleasant of experiences. That goop the doctor put in that little horseshoe-shaped tray and shoved up over your teeth, that was probably alginate. Alginate is purchased as a powder. When this powder is mixed with water, it forms a thick liquid. It can be as thin as pancake batter, as thick as cream cheese, or anywhere in between, depending on what type of mold you want to make. In life casting, this liquid is applied to the skin. In a few minutes, the liquid changes or sets into a rubbery solid. When it is removed from the skin, every little detail of the skin is transferred onto the surface of the alginate, right down to the wrinkles, pores, and goosebumps. Since life casting is a molding and casting process, a suitable casting material must be poured into the alginate mold to produce the life cast. Most of the time, some type of gypsum cement, which is similar to plaster, is used. When the gypsum sets, it produces a life cast that is as hard as stone. Hands, faces, feet, torsos, and even whole bodies can be done in this way. The one drawback to alginate is that it is not permanent. The mold begins to shrink shortly after it is made, and generally only one casting can be made from each mold. There are other molding materials that can be used in life casting besides alginate. Some life casters just use plaster bandages against the skin. While this is inexpensive and can be very, very interesting, the skin surface detail is not very good. On the other hand, platinum catalyzed silicones make very high quality, detailed, and permanent life molds, but silicone is much, much more expensive than alginate. Alginate is used in other industries as well. In prosthetic medicine, it is used in the fabrication of artificial arms and legs. Makeup artists in television and motion pictures use alginate to help make actors look like aliens or monsters, and in making young actors appear old. Alginate is also used in general mold making for the prototypes of new products. I'm going to cover a lot more details about alginate and life casting in upcoming videos, and we'll be posting links to them on our website. So, so long from Dr. Alginate, and remember, the most important thing about life casting is to have fun with it.